Hey everyone, welcome. I'm Curtis with Rapid 3D, and today we're going to be scanning a side by side. All right, so with the recent explosion in the sports side by side market, there's been an equal explosion in the aftermarket support sector. With OEMs bringing out new models just about every year, it's been critical for those aftermarket guys to get accurate measurements of the new models so they can create things like aftermarket doors, bumpers, roll cages. Um, so today we're gonna to be scanning this Razer 900S to show you how we can very quickly get all those measurements using 3D scanning. All right, so the scanner we're gonna be using today is this Metroscan 750 Elite. This is a large volume shop floor scanning system. And the key feature of it is it's externally positioned. What that means is we actually pair this laser scanner with this C-Track positioning system. That allows us to scan small cars or side-by-sides, things of that size, with no positioning targets. And by eliminating positioning targets, we cut down greatly on setup time, and we totally eliminate stacking error. So it's a great option for something of this size. First step, though, is we need to do a field level calibration on our C-Track, and then we'll do a field level calibration on our Metroscan. The C-Track calibration is conducted using a calibration bar. This is held in predetermined locations in view of the C-Track cameras. The C-Track is then able to compensate for pressure and temperature changes. This must be done before calibrating the Metroscan. The Metroscan calibration is done using a calibration plate. The C-Track is able to track both the Metroscan and the calibration plate during multiple scanner motions in order to calibrate the cameras and lasers inside the Metroscan. All right, so we got the C-Track and the Metroscan all calibrated and ready to go. Um, there's just a couple things that I wanna to touch on before we get scanning. One is gonna be the reference mode that we put the, the C-Track into. This system is capable of what's called a dynamic reference, where we'd actually put a couple of reflectors on the subject itself, and then the C-Track would lock its coordinate system to the object rather than to itself. It's a super helpful system if, uh, if you're scanning somewhere with shop floor vibrations, or if the C-Track isn't very stable, or if the object itself is kind of prone to movement, um, you can lock that coordinate system onto the object so that as it moves, the C-Track understands that and the scan moves with it. Um, where we are right now, we're in a nice stable shop environment. We got a nice concrete floor. Nothing's gonna move in relation to each other. So we're able to operate in a static reference mode. So the C-Track's gonna assume that everything is static in its field of view and just track the Metroscan ball. Unfortunately, that does lead to a bit of a complication in that we can't touch the subject once we start scanning. So we can't climb in and out of it or stand on it in order to scan the top. Um, not a big deal, we just need to make sure that we're not touching the razor. The next thing that we need to talk about is line of sight. So the Metroscan system is a, a large volume scan system. Uh, in fact, the, the entire razor fits within a single scanning volume, but the C-Track is an optical tracking system. So it uses two cameras to track the reflectors on the Metroscan ball to know where it is in 3D space. So what that means is we can't scan around the backside because the C-Track won't be able to see our scanner. So what we're gonna have to do instead is get as much geometry as we can from this viewpoint and then stop that scan and start a new scan at a different viewpoint. Take a couple of different scans with some overlapping geometry and then at the end we'll merge them all together into a single body with that overlapping geometry. So with all that said, let's start scanning.
All right, that looks awesome. Um, we ended up taking four scans, one off of each corner, uh, just to make sure that we could get all the geometry from all the angles. Uh, you can actually see all four of our scans here, and you can see how much overlap we did. We gotta try to make sure that we have overlap scan to scan, so when we go to merge them all into one kind of cohesive body, there's lots of geometry for the algorithm to, to match up. So we got lots of overlap, that worked well. Um, the Metroscan worked great for this project, saved us an hours, hours of time uh, targeting. So that was great. It's also really difficult to capture the, the roll cage components with anything but the Metroscan. So that worked well. Um, yeah, and that's all we got for you guys today. So if you got any questions about the Metroscan system or what we do here at Rapid 3D, I'll throw a link below to our website. Feel free to contact us anytime. We'll see you next time.